So guys, before I get started here, I'd like to give two guys shout outs. Fatim X, his info's right here for donating me white wall tires for the track. I've been doing business with uh, Keith for since 2004, quite a long time. I also like to thank Dennis from Honda Mini for donating me this exhaust for my my bike. Didn't have one. His info's right here. Selling them for 60 bucks. I think it's a great deal. I've only known Dennis for two and a half years. I've been racing with him in Formula Carways. You should check out those videos. Pretty sick videos. Um, also, show 50 channel support. You know, hit the subscribe button. It'd be really appreciated. Put a lot of time into this. I'm planning to do this for quite a while because I enjoy 50s a lot. So, stay tuned. Let's get started on building this bike. So I'm getting started to put my bike together. It's a 2000 XR frame, swing arm, and forks. I'm going to assemble the forks. So let's get started. So first thing, always uh, use some grease. If you don't already know how to do the, this, then I'm going to teach you. I like to put grease on everything just so it moves nice. That's good. Push it in. Need these pliers. C clip fits in a groove. Once you get it in, just give it a push with the screwdriver and it'll fall into place. There. One done. Put the boot on. Check. One done. There, that's ready. Next step. Now, mount the fork. Once again, just put some grease. These are new. Tight. Tighten it up. Tap it with a flat screwdriver and a hammer. Always just give a check to see if it's too tight. Okay, now we're going to install the swing arm. Swing arm axle. Once again, I love my grease. It's 
So you need a 14 and a 17. Don't forget to show 50 channel support by giving a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. This 50 channel is going to be around for a while. I'm not planning to stop anytime soon. Lift up on the tail section. So the bolts are 14 and 17 mil you're going to need. Shock done. Next step. frame on the motor. This is how I do it. Everybody has different ways, but I find this way is pretty easy. Fourteen socket and a fourteen wrench I use for this for the engine bolts. Okay. Next step is putting the triple clamp and handlebars on. Next, I'm going to install my coil. Black, and yellow, and green. Don't forget to put the ground on. I like to tuck everything so nothing is loose, dangling. ground here. Make sure you put the ground. This is an aftermarket coil pack. Better spark for high RPM. I'm going to put some tape on it. Oil packs done. Next, I'm going to install a brake lever. Some grease. pin in. Get your needle nose pliers. Let's 
bum. Now let's spring. It's always tough to get this spring on. Okay. Now we're going to install the rear wheel. Grease. Don't forget to put your spacer in. up the, the brake. Don't adjust anything yet until you get the chain and everything on. It's done. Move it on. So I'm going to install the front fender now. A little bit easier than when you're putting the tire on. Make sure you put your number plate in between. Get sandwiched. Moving on. I'm going to give you a run through the disc brake conversion I have. I bought it 15 years ago. Sano used to make it. This hub goes to factory. So these slots hook into those slots. I'm having trouble. Out oh, there. So it went in. I'll show you the rest of it. So they used to sell a whole kit came with the forks, the brakes, I have up, upgraded, this is a four piston Avid hydraulic brake, this bracket I just welded on, I've made maybe six of these. The hub, I've had the hub machine by a company. I had these brackets laser cut and I TIG welded them on. Went to the local BMX downhill mountain bike brakes. This is a 180 disc. Time to install the brakes. I'm almost there. Next step, fork guards. Done. Next, I'm going to install the chain.
time to install the tank. It's just two bolts, two 12s. But when you have a big bore kit, the carb is much bigger, which sits on top of the carb here. So what you got to do is put a shim up in the front and a shim in the back. I'm just adding this washer in the back. Now we're going to do the front, which is a lot bigger. As you can see, you with the, the shims it's still touching, but at least it's clearing. Big shim, small little spacer there. Moving on. So I was missing exhaust for the CRF don't have one the Z exhaust won't fit Dennis was kind enough to donate this exhaust to me to try out um, the only thing is I'm gonna take the heat shields off because I don't I don't like the way it looks with the heat shield then I'm gonna cut the welded on nuts I'm going to cut these off, grind them. I'm going to shorten the exhaust so the muffler doesn't stick out far out the back. So I'm going to cut off this so it tucks it in more. So let's see how it turns out. Thanks, Dennis. So I end up cutting off 2 and 1 8 off it. Shorten up the exhaust. Cut all the tabs off. Just grind them down. Polished it up. Um, now to install it. Two 10 mil bolts. I mean, two 10 mil nuts. 12 mil. Tighten up the header. I wonder how it sounds. Sixty bucks. That's what he sells them for. If you're interested. The final part of the build. Putting the plastics on. Getting ready for the track tomorrow. Until I get another Z Z frame, I'm gonna be riding this. XR. Well, XR with the uh, 2005 CRF plastics. I'm going to give you guys a walk around. So guys, I don't know how well I did the video. I hope it helped out with anything that you needed to find out. But don't forget the Show 50 channel support. Hit the subscribe button. I'm planning to be here for a long time. Building bikes, racing bikes, 
stunting bikes, and street riding. So stay tuned. Leave me a comment be below. Tell me what you think about this how-to video. Thanks.